should wear something less flashy than a brown t-shirt. Gonna get letters about that. What I want to talk about right now, oh that's right, I'm polite. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Hey. Social media is a funny thing. It can get really cluttered and really messy and really gross. And so I've decided that I'm going to purge my social media. I'm a minimalist. I don't like having a bunch of accounts open all over the internet. I do because that's the way the internet works. The accounts that I do have, they're there for a reason. I have a purpose for them. I found that over the course of six months, eight months, I mean, even as little as three months, really, that my social media accounts can start to lose focus. Why is the, why? Why algorithms no longer work the way that they used to? I mean, Twitter doesn't sort your feed by time. It sorts your feed by coolness. Facebook does the same thing, but who cares about if Facebook can eat a butt? I'm starting to lose the posts that I really want to see in favor for the posts from the people who I only kind of like. My interests and my availability have changed, even over the past six months, pretty drastically. I want to go over that process verbally with you, and maybe this is something that you should do. You should probably do it, because social media, I think, should be... A I'll talk about that later. First of all, Twitter. The primary reason I am on Twitter is to follow CM Punk and Hideo Kojima. The big thing is to focus on those people who still interest me. Those two, obviously, as well as my friends. People who are in my field, and I want to see what they're up to. I like YouTube. As much as I like YouTube, I don't watch it in the same way that I used to. When I first started using YouTube seriously and subscribing to channels, it was because I needed something to listen to while I was working. I don't do that anymore because I have kids, so I have to listen to them. I have to make sure they're not killing each other. I watch in a spotty way whenever I have the opportunity. My primary follows are going to be people who do video essays. Uh, people like Lindsay Ellis or uh, Sean something. H Bomber Guy. Uh, you know, people who I appreciate the work of and who I think that I can learn something from. So my third social media platform is Twitch, and I don't need to purge this so much as find a new way to use it. I think the best part of streaming, in my mind, is that it's a personal experience. Like if I'm streaming and you're watching me, you and I are having a more personal experience than we could have on any other platform. The thing that I'm thinking about doing with Twitch is that I might use it as sort of like a, a substitute for office hours and you know, like play a game while I talk to people about my stuff and what they're doing and what, you know, whatever they have questions about. I think that'd be kind of cool. And also, I have an idea for a initially Fallout themed stream that... Actually, that's as, that's as specific as I'm going to get. I'm working on that, but I need the time to do it. On my fourth social media platform, Mastodon. Now, if you don't know what Mastodon is, this is overly simplistic, but Mastodon is an open source alternative to Twitter. The concept is that instead of having one main server, like Twitter does, you have hundreds, thousands of smaller servers where people conglomerate, maybe around specific interests, or maybe just because it's the cool one to be on, all of those servers are connected by the users who are using them. So if I'm on server or mastodon.xyz, which I am, if I reach out to say mastodon.social, somebody on there, those two servers are linked. And the, the people that I follow and the people that are on the other one can see each other or something like that. I'm sure I'm messing that up. There are plenty of people who are calling for its demise already, like they aren't, like it isn't going to be a thing, but it keeps growing. It looks really solid. It looks really nice. It could die on the vine though. Ultimately, I'm going to love it because it's open source and I love open source. Social media is a place for friends. It's a place where you are allowed and able to customize your experience to exactly what your needs are. And those friends are people who share your interests, people who share your viewpoints in some cases. I'm being very particular about my def definition 
because sometimes we can sort of get swept up in the social media thing just doing it because our friends are that we lose track of what the social media machine is actually doing to us in order for social media to serve you you have to force it to do so. You have to tell it specifically what you're looking for. It has algorithms. Twitter has algorithms. YouTube has algorithms. Facebook has algorithms. Tumblr probably has algorithms. These algorithms are not trying to help you. They are trying to cater to you in a way that also benefits them. So you, the user, have to force the social media platform to work for you. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do here by limiting the amount of information that I'm putting out there. My attention is a resource. Your attention is a resource. And we shouldn't go into any social media platform without knowing that first and recognizing that Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, that's one. They're just trying to get that resource. Mm. Yeah. All right.